know, some of the things that are possible with uh, Windows Azure and some of the cloud-based solutions that we're working on, you know, you can now build cloud-based solutions that can reach, you know, millions of customers uh, or even hundreds of millions of customers. Uh, and, you know, I think you're going to see the .NET skill set that you have and the Visual Studio background that you have enable you to kind of really take advantage of the cloud and whether that's for startups, whether that's for enterprise, whether that's for ISVs, uh, really build some great solutions with it. Yeah. And then lastly, I think, you know, one of the new things that's coming out uh, in the, over the next couple of months will be Windows 8 and uh, the ability to use your .NET skills to build Windows 8 store applications uh, using XAML and C Sharp or VB. Uh, is going to provide a way, an opportunity for client development where you can not only take advantage of your existing skills, but you can also put them in the new store and monetize them uh, where you can either put them in the store as a thing for free, or if you want to, you can actually put a, uh, charge money for your apps. And the opportunity, the economic opportunity of building these .NET apps and distributing them to hundreds of millions of users, uh, I think is going to be enormous. And so. You know, whether it's with the server, whether it's with the cloud, whether it's with traditional enterprise-based development. Uh, you know, I think the future hopefully is very bright and it provides a great opportunity for you to build some really interesting things uh, and hopefully get some really great jobs out of it. You know, the thing I always recommend for developers is have a really good foundational set of skills. You know, you know master the language, you know, understand design, understand, you know, core algorithms and, and just sort of general purpose programming experience. And then, you know, where possible, try to master higher level sets of uh, libraries and frameworks, whether they're, you know, Link or, or Entity Framework or, the, or parts of ASP.NET, or also kind of uh, related technologies like jQuery or jQuery Mobile, or, uh, which are, are not directly part of .NET, but which you can use with .NET in order to build web applications. Uh, and so, you know, certainly having some good skill set, both at the foundational layer, but then also mastering a couple of those kind of higher level libraries, I think ends up being a good thing for a developer. But the end most important thing, I think, in terms of long-term career is just your ability to pick up new things and your flexibility. That's going to help ensure that no matter what new API comes out that's that's the, the current popular one to use, that you can pick it up and you can start taking advantage of it. There certainly will be some industries and some verticals that uh, there's more opportunity than others. You know, at a high level, our kind of strategy is really, you know, devices and services. And so devices meaning Windows Client, Windows Phone, uh, and, and others. Um, and then on the, on the services front, you know, a lot of it is going to be focused around the cloud with Windows Azure, and then also obviously with Windows Server and SQL, and both on premise and in the cloud. And so uh, the good news is from a .NET developer perspective is, you know, you can use your skills across that whole range of spectrum, and that opens up, again, just tons of possibilities for building literally every type of app. And then there will definitely be some verticals that will be more popular than others, uh, but I think the ability to use your skills everywhere ends up being a really really big thing and, and something that makes it really valuable to be .NET. One of the things that we've always had with .NET has been uh, the great partnership with Visual Studio. And you know we really kind of build the two together and really think about the end-to-end -end developer experience. Um, and so while you certainly can use .NET independent of Visual Studio, you know most uh, pretty much every .NET developer I know uses Visual Studio, uh, whether it's the Express free version or whether it's one of the paying versions um, as part of their development. And so uh, I think as Visual Studio has gotten richer, and in particular the new Visual Studio 2012 release, which is really a great release, you know, it ends up making .NET developers even more valuable and more productive. Um, and so I think you're going to continue to see that trend of the IDE getting richer and richer. Uh, and um, the libraries and .NET getting richer and richer, and that combination is, is really a, a powerful thing.